I think I might have just found the worst rapper ever. And no, I am not talking about 6 9 I am talking about Tyson James. Now, for most of you, that name probably doesn't mean anything, and rightly so. But recently, one of his music videos has gone kind of viral, and you'll see why here very shortly. But first, who is Tyson James? Well, Tyson James is a self-proclaimed Christ follower and the most banned rapper to ever live. Now, if you know anything about the music industry, you obviously know that nothing goes better together than Christians and rap music. They go together like peanut butter and jelly, or should I say peanut butter and cement, because it's pretty much unbearable, and if you do consume it, uh, you'll probably die with music videos like Demon Month, Two Genders, Oh Israel, and Gun Totin Bible Thumper. This guy's really making a name for himself. But as I said, there is one video in particular that has gone pretty viral over the past few weeks, and it's not good. It's not good at all, uh, but I'm gonna show it to you, and then we're gonna talk about it, because that's what we do here. Toby James coming in hot. What are we talking about? What is the plot? If you are a Susie, you can't be a Scott. I know it's a doozy, can't be what you're not. Ain't getting to heaven with nail paint. It's gonna be hot where you're going, that's hell gate. They gonna have fun with this, so gonna be jail bait. There's only two, you put more weight if felt great. Okay, I think that's enough. You get the idea. It's weird, it's gross, it's not good. Everything about this disgusts me to my core. Because not only is this just like blatantly homophobic and transphobic, uh, the kid later goes on to say a slur regarding trans people, but of course, none of this is to blame on the kid. This is an 11 year old boy. And that makes this so much more vile and disgusting. I couldn't imagine being a parent and willingly put my kid onto the internet where they will inevitably get a lot of hate for the stuff that they're saying in this. And a lot of that hate is justified, but it's definitely not justified towards the 11 year old child. It should all be directed to the parent, to the adult that is forcing this child to be in this position. It is so wild to me that this guy, Tyson James, is constantly making music videos and talking about how these kids are being indoctrinated in schools and being told that it's okay to be gay. Now, I know that you would love to destroy, demoralize, and absolutely mess up these little kids. I know you love it, but- But then will literally indoctrinate his kid to becoming just as hateful as he is and then putting him on the internet for everybody to see. This is beyond disgusting. This is so fucking gross. And of course, Tyson James only takes this as a win because he's pissing so many people off. He must be telling the truth. He's a martyr for the gospel. He's a martyr for truth. If everybody's hating you, you must be doing something right. I like that the description for this says, men with nail polish don't make heaven. Damn, shoddy. I didn't realize that like, you know, a, a, a colorful liquid. Uh, really was was that definitive in, in causing someone to either uh, spend eternity in hell or spend eternity in heaven. But by golly, thank you for telling me I will no longer be putting that sinful stuff on my hands. But as I said, yes, uh, this video has been getting a lot of backlash. It's been getting a lot of hate. Most of it that I've seen is directed towards the parent, which rightfully so. The kid is not at fault here at all. But because of all the traction that this video did, uh, he has made uh, quite a few more with uh, with his kid, where he is singing this verse to this song. I indoctrinate my kids every day with the truth. <laughs> That's right, guys. You guys might be indoctrinating kids, uh, but I am also indoctrinating kids, uh, but I'm, in I'm doing it the good way, okay? Uh, I'm doing it the, the, the Bible way. I'm doing it the way that we've always done it. I'm doing it the best way. You guys in school, you guys keep talking about, about sex education. That's disgusting. Why don't you read the Bible, okay? Why don't you read about the countless verses where they are discussing incest, huh? That's the type of truth shit that I'm into. That's what I'm gonna teach my kid. So yeah, we've established that this guy is a is a bad dude. He's a bad parent. He's a bad man. But I wanted to listen to a couple more of his songs. Not that I want to continue this excruciating pain on, on my ears and your ears alike, but I'm just curious about what else he's saying because uh, there's some videos in here that I'm curious about. Uh, he's talking about Demon Month, which is obviously Pride Month, okay? That's the bad month. But yeah, let's take a look at and see what this one's all about. Parents are feeling very divided about this Pride- Before we even start the song, Tyson James and ASAP Preach? The fuck? Your rapper name is ASAP Preach? Ew, gross. Dude, that's like, I'm physically like cringing so much that I don't even have like words to describe how weird that is. Ew, bro. You could have went with your name. I'm sure your name wasn't that bad. They had to come up with 
ASAP Preach. Let's see what his name actually is real quick. Maybe it is bad. Ian Barnett. Okay, yeah, never mind. It's bad. Uh, yeah, I see why you picked ASAP Preach now. Okay, I won't be so quick to judge from now on. It, it makes it, it it makes a little more sense now. Ian Barnett. Ew. Some parents believe that Pride and LGBTQ plus topics should not be taught in schools while other parents don't yeah. mind. Leave our kids alone. You're not gay. It's the demon that's inside of you. <laughs> Come on, dude. Not already. Not already. Yeah, you hear that, guys? All you gays out there, yeah, you're not actually gay. It's the demons. It's the demons that's making you want to suck cock. Get that demon out of you. He's inside of you right now. Okay, you gotta get him to pull out quick before he does a little, uh, a little something else inside of you. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I wanna live the way I want. Man, that's not fair. But if you go to hell, the love you seek is not there. Even Christian rappers act in such a sea of cell. God, dude, these guys are so obsessed with like painting fingernails that they just make me want to go and paint my fingernails. And honestly, I feel like they would probably benefit by some painted fingernails. I feel like that might might let out some frustration, you know? If they just if they just sat with a, a group of girls, a group of gossiping women, and just sat there and got their nails painted and got a nice little manicure, I'm telling you, these guys would not be as aggressive as they are right now. I think that's all they need. All they need is a little just a little paint. That's all they need. But of course, that's never going to happen because that's exactly how the how the demons come inside of you. Yeah. I made that a double entendre on purpose. You can laugh, you can laugh. Fuck yeah, dude. Straight pride is where it's at, dog. Like, dude, us straight guys, we don't get enough representation out there in the world. I also really like the fact that these people are constantly talking about the LGBTQ plus community and saying that they, they're just filled with demons, you know? They're, they're just these demons, you're just filling them up. They're possessed by the devil. But I think the ironic part about that is that these people will go to church and they'll constantly talk about how they've accepted Jesus into their life. They've accepted him as their Lord and Savior. They're going to live their life according to Jesus Christ. But then if you go talk to somebody part of the LGBT community, they're just like, yeah, I'm gay. I'm trans. It's not like they've devoted their life to, to Satan and they, they've signed a blood pact with all their friends and then just became gay. Do homosexuals make it to heaven? No. Does mankind ever learn a lesson? No. Don't want to use it, but you know I got a weapon and it go boom, boom. The room second amendment. <laughs> That's bold. What? I'm sorry, is he did did he just I might have heard that incorrectly. I'm hoping I did. Because I think he might have advocated for killing gay people. Uh, I I hope I'm wrong. You know I got a weapon and it go boom boom clear the room second amendment. <laughs> That's bold. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I know I've been laughing about this because it's because it's funny and it's super cringe and disgusting and weird. But like when you get to the point where you're talking about like actually like like shooting up gay people, uh, I think you might be taking a, a step too far. Uh, that's not good. How do you write a bar like that? How do you put that into a song? You edit it, you make the music video, you sing it, and no one ever comes up to you and they're like, you know, Tyson, I, I know you make a lot of edgy stuff, but but maybe maybe take out the part where you're talking about killing gay people. Uh, that That's the part that, that's that's a little iffy. Maybe, maybe, maybe take that out. But I mean, of course, nobody would say that to him because I'm sure that everybody around him feels the exact same way. This is a, an insane thing to say. This is crazy. This isn't even funny anymore. That's just gross. That's bad. What the fuck? But he actually ended up making another music video with his kids. And the song is called Let the Boys Be Boys. I am sure this is not going to be offensive in any single way. Newsflash, you can't change your gender. You are who you are. If God made you a boy, then just be it. Because you could never change it. Trust me, you don't want to cut it off because you can't rearrange it. They want to mutilate us. I know it's the strangest. It's the devil because he hates us. Here, let me mansplain this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. It's so wild to me that there are so many people telling their kids that, that people want to mutilate them. People want to turn them into the other gender. The amount of children under the age of 18 that get gender reaffirmed affirming surgeries is so staggeringly low and they act like it's something that just takes place all the time it's taking place all around you all these teachers are pedophiles they want to come after my kids but you're the one constantly talking to them about cutting off their genitalia like it's you guys that are perpetuating this narrative it's you guys that are constantly bringing this up i can't even imagine what the meeting must have been like 
before creating this song and music video like that must have been a crazy meeting bro hey guys uh, i'm thinking about making a new song uh, i'm thinking about calling it let the boys be boys <laughs> What do you think? That sounds awesome. Uh, you, you always have the best ideas. Thank you, thank you. It's gonna be this song where I have my kids dissing trans people, okay? And while they're doing that, I want them to hold weapons. I love me some okay, good like, weapons. What kind of weapons? Like, like, like some semi-automatic weapons. Maybe like some machine guns, you know, some weapons. I'm all for weapons. What do you guys think? I think it sounds amazing. Tyson, Tyson you're the I think you're the best. You are such Your a good music role is model. the best. You're the best person ever. <laughs> Keep it up. I, I love you so much. I want my kids to grow up to be just what like What can I say? <laughs> I'm a goddamn genius. <laughs> did he just take God's name I in vain? Tyson, did you just take God's name in vain? The kids then continue to rap about, you know, homosexuals, trans people, and they once again warn everybody about what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah. Bible, you should learn it. Which seems to be a running theme with a lot of Tyson's music. He brings up Sodom and Gomorrah a lot, even to the extent of making a t-shirt that says, remember Sodom and Gomorrah, where they are burning the LGBTQ flag. So for those of you who are not well acquainted with the Bible, let me catch you up to speed on what Sodom and Gomorrah is. So I'm not going to give you the whole story of Sodom and Gomorrah because that would take way too long. But basically Sodom and Gomorrah was a place that, that God said had a lot of sin in it. There was a lot of sex. There was a lot of homosexual sex, which the Bible says was very, very very bad. So what did God end up doing to Sodom and Gomorrah? Well, he burned the entire place to the ground, killing everybody inside it, except for Lot. Now, who is Lot, you might ask? Well, Lot is a man that actually moved to Sodom and Gomorrah with his family, of which some of them actually ended up perishing in Sodom and Gomorrah because they were doing bad things. But the two daughters that actually survived Sodom and Gomorrah were the two daughters that were impregnated by Lot. I am not kidding. According to the Bible, these daughters initiated sex with their father and they ended up having his kids. So if we're going to the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, the, the only lesson I'm taking away from this is that God hates gay people. Having sex with a lot of people is bad, but having sex with your family is completely on the table. <laughs> it's, it's just a little hiccup, okay? Those people are fine. Those people are free to go. Gay people though? <laughs> nah. None of that. So whenever you bring up remember Sodom and Gomorrah Tyson, I just want you to remember that you're kind of advocating for incest. Okay. Well, America has experienced a rapid, in fact, a massive inflation in genders. Dude, you know you're in for a killer rap song when you got Tucker Carlson at the beginning. M&Ms will not be satisfied until every last cartoon character is deeply unappealing until they only wouldn't want to have a drink with any one of them. That's the goal. When you're totally turned off, We've achieved equity. They've won. Give me some Fox News with my rap shit. Bars, bro. Bars. Who just told me there's 70 genders? I need the evidence. Where's the defenders? Maybe you're brain dead. You lost your receptors. They banned me because I'm a repeating offender. Hey, you said it, not me. Okay, let, let the record show. He's the one that said it, not me. These are the stakes in their race. I am not giving one inch to the gays. Yeah, bro. Uh, even if you offered it to them, I still don't think that they would take your one inch. <laughs> So as we can see, Tyson's music is pretty trash. It's pretty garbage, sucks dick. But besides his music, I saw that he also had a shop. So of course, me being the uh, inquisitive man that I am, I had to take a look-see. And uh, I don't know if you guys are ready for this because after I saw this shirt that he's selling, let me tell you, I, I got a little scared. I was a bit triggered, you might say. White, straight, conservative Christian. How else may I offend you? Now, I, I really hope that you can hold your composure after seeing that. As you just saw, I did have a, a little a little spasm after seeing that for the first time. It, it, it did offend me quite a bit. I left, it left me a bit shaken up, but I'm gonna try to get through the rest of this video without hopefully shedding a tear uh, for, how, for how much that terrified me. Make families great again. Awesome, awesome shit. Control your kids, not our guns. Banger shirt, banger shirt. Because as we all know, it, it is children. That, that are constantly shooting up schools, not adults uh, with guns that they obtain through uh, really easy processes. It's it's definitely children that need to, to be controlled, not the guns. I'm trying to make sense of it, okay? Give me a break. Let's go, Brandon. You'll love to see it. And then this one, which might be my favorite one so far. My pronouns are unvaccinated. Yeah, uh... <laughs> You offended by that? <laughs> I swear to God, if I was ever walking down the street and I saw someone wearing a shirt like this, I might just throw up. Like, like I might actually just throw up on the side of the road after seeing someone unironically wear this shirt. I think that might actually be one of my favorite jokes that comes from the right is just how much they love talking about pronouns. It's probably their favorite topic other than talking about like kids 
genitalia. And you know that they all just think that they're so funny when they say shit like this. My pronouns are U-S-A. My pronouns are U-S-A. How about it, huh? My name is Ted Cruz, and my pronouns are kiss my ass. My pronouns are kiss my ass. My personal preferred pronouns are fried chicken and collard greens. That is easily my favorite right-wing comedy. I think the most disappointing stuff about Tyson and like just his type of people in general is like, of course, all of this stuff is already cringe. It's weird, it's obnoxious, and you're pretty disgusting and gross, but you could at least put some effort into it, right? Like if you actually gave a fuck, you could put some effort into this. Why are you making these t-shirts with the most boring font ever? Just a straight line of boring text. Come on, man. Like you gotta have some creativity in there. Like why does this all have to be so boring? But yeah, that's Tyson James. And it actually does make me really sad for these kids that are, are put into this position uh, with such hateful parents. It's pretty messed up. And this kind of indoctrination is, it, it, it sucks. It, it's it's terrible. And it's crazy that, that Christians or, or Republicans will look at this and, and say that, that this is good, keep doing this, and not acknowledge it for what it actually is, which is indoctrination. But then they'll turn around and say that people that tell their kids it's okay to, to, to be gay are indoctrinating their kids in, into wearing nail polish or, or just feeling however they want to feel. It's so messed up, it's so backwards, and it's so crazy to me that these, these people out there have following, have people supporting them, and it just, it sucks. And I'm really hoping that his, so far, five kids do not turn out to be just as bad as he is when they all grow up and hopefully they can, you know, get out of this this bubble that, they, that they've been put into. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video when I not only put nail polish on my fingers, but I also put it in my throat. That's right. I'm going to be drinking nail polish in the next episode. Join me for that.